Alright guys, here's a test with my 32-bit Alexmos controller on my gimbal. So you can see, right now I'm in a slow follow mode to start it. The 32-bit uh, board works excellent. Uh, with the dual sensor, it actually helps out with the roll drift. Slow down, Aiden. So with the dual sensor um, on a 32-bit controller, it actually reduces a lot of that roll drift that you get when you pan really quick or you pan a lot. It's a little bit more stable. Right now I'm holding the gimbal on um, one of the side handles. Follow my son, you can see exactly how it works. Using a Canon T3i on kit lens, so it's not the best camera, but you know, you guys can get an idea of how stable it works. Walking about medium st uh, speed right now. So what I'm gonna do now, is take it off of there. And since right now we have five different user presets we could do on here. This is a uh, preset one. So no matter how I move the controller, I'm walking backwards, shaking the handlebars back and forth, tilting it, whatnot, you know, swirling the gimbal. You can see it's actually quite stable. Whoop. And no matter what I do, the camera stays locked. I can actually walk in a 360 like so. And you can see the camera just stays locked into one heading. I have the gains program where I can just manually turn the gimbal by hand and just have it where I want it to point. This is good if you want to do a lot of following shots, you know, without having the camera pan by itself or tilt. Because I can tilt the camera. So you can see I'm tilting the gimbal right now. And you can see the battery connectors at the full extent. I can even hold the handles backwards. Here's preset two. This one, I have to tilt lock, but I have control pan. So let me go one, two, preset number two. So I have control panning, but the tilt is locked. This is good if you want to follow somebody like so. But you want the tilt nice and locked. Yeah, come on, it's dirty. Let's go in. So right now, the tilt is always locked, but I can still control panning like so. That's great. Preset three, one, two, three. I have full control of manual pan. Oh, <laughs> and manual tilt, so you can do a lot of cool shots, like, you know, walk behind somebody. I have a slow follow mode right now. So let me go into profile three, or profile four, I'm sorry, profile four, the fourth preset. I still have full control, full uh, follow, but you can see I can actually follow a lot faster now. My PIDs are still tuning right now, so but you know it's basic, which uh, works really well. Right in. You see, my son loves to. Oh, <laughs> watch where you're running, Aiden. And my fifth preset: one, two, three, four, five. Five presses on the profile button, and now I have a super fast follow mode. For example, like a shoulder rig setup. So you can see I can pan really fast now. It feels like having a shoulder wrist set up. Hey, hey, calm down, Aiden. You can see, really fast pan. And dual sensor prevents any of the roll drift as you would get with the 8-bit boards. So let me go back into my favorite, which is preset number three, where I have control of the full follow but it's a nice slow speed for cinematic shots. Oh, someone's getting tired. So let me see if the window can actually get a reflection. Like so. Probably not. Let me find another window. <laughs> My windows are kind of tinted. All right, here's a better uh, visual. Dual sensor allows greater angles. So preset one, you can see, I can tilt it like so. So right now if I want, I can manually tilt it down because I don't have the joystick hooked up. But you can see there. So I mean, not much to show because you can't really see exactly what, how much room I am, but you can see just moving the gimbal, rocking it back and forth. And it's really nice and stable. 
So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a quick, you know, look and review for the 32-bit controllers with the with the dual sensor setup. So hope you guys enjoyed it.